We're going to bring into the stream right now Mike Baker. He is a former CIA covert operations officer. Mike, it's good to have you here. I don't know if you've had a chance to see or hear that video that um, President Trump has put out, but he keeps saying that this was a fraudulent stolen election when it was not, and even Mitch McConnell has said it was not. I mean, how do you react to that? Well, it's it's <laughs> it's pathetic. Um, it's sad. Uh, it's uh, embarrassing on an international and uh, national level. Um, and it's frankly, uh, you know, too little, too late. Look, he's, he, he hasn't learned a thing from four years of self-inflicted wounds. Not, not, not a thing. Even my youngest kid, right, learns from, you know, mistakes and not to repeat them after a period of time. And uh, this, this message, such as it is, uh, I think Secretary Chertoff put it well, it's still wrapped in grievance, right? Uh, he's, trying to, he's trying to placate uh, while trying to back out of a situation that he didn't anticipate. Well, Mike, comparing that to what we heard from President-elect Joe Biden earlier, now he earlier uh, in the hour addressed the nation, he called on the president, He's saying that the words of the president matter, no matter how good or how bad a president is. He was calling for the mob to pull back, to allow the work of democracy to go forward. How do you compare the rhetoric that we've heard from President-elect Joe Biden comparing that to what we just heard from President Trump? Well, I, I don't think you can. Look, we all know that, that, that it's, it's night and day, right? There's, there's, uh, there, there's never been any change in the messaging from, uh, from President Trump uh, or from the White House over the past four years. It's always been sort of direct and eloquent, um, you know, in your face. It's sort of indicative of who he is, right? He's a property developer from the tri-state area that spends his time over the years punching people in the nose and, and getting punched back. You know, there should be no surprise that to the final day, uh, he's consistent in, in sort of his behavior. Look, you know, the president-elect Biden, absolutely correct in, in trying to uh, in, in, in trying to bring some sense of, of stability to this. Uh, but, you know, the president's words up to this point regarding the fraudulent election, and I apologize, I got some construction going on here, but, you know, those words have created this, this mess that now the president-elect and the incoming administration has to deal with. Mike, Josh Howley, the senator uh, from Missouri, put out a statement. I want to read you the statement and get your reaction. Quote, thank you to the brave law enforcement officials who have put their lives on the line, who have put their lives on the line. The violence must end. Those who attacked police and broke the law must be prosecuted. And Congress must get back to work and finish its job. Nothing about his, his involvement in bringing about what we've witnessed today. What do you think? Yeah, there'll be a lot of people trying to walk the dog back in terms of, of their actions, you know, related to, uh, you know, fraudulent election. Look, what, you know, whether instances of fraud, there have been instances of fraud in elections for, for you know, generations. It's a human endeavor. It's always going to be something. Was it enough to overturn a court? No, no, it's not. And, and yet there was this effort to try to drum up this concept. Look, I had dinner the other night with someone who still believed, you know, to their bones that President Trump was going to turn this around. And it's again, I go back to the same word, sad, frustrating, pathetic, uh, embarrassed on a national level. Uh, but breaking the law is breaking the law. I suspect a lot of those people that were, you know, barging their way into uh, Capitol grounds today were the same people that were bemoaning uh, some of the actions of Antifa or people taking advantage of BLM protests. It doesn't matter what side of the spectrum you're on. You break the law. You should be charged, arrested, fully prosecuted. Uh, that's just that's it's a simple thing, a simple concept.